Hey team, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload and add transcriptions to your videos on YouTube. Now, YouTube is one of the main places we were able to grow our business by promoting and uploading educational style videos. Somebody comes to learn on YouTube or for somebody to help them. And if you're the expert in the one in the niche helping them on YouTube and showing up, they're eventually going to hire you and start working with your company because you were the helpful company. You're the one teaching them and helping them. So you use, use YouTube to provide educational content to really build better relationships with people online. They'll find you, they'll come to you, and then they'll ask for help when they need it. So first, um, I always like to start uploading my video before I start with my transcription. So we use Temi for our transcription. And the reason we use uh, transcriptions are a lot of people like to watch videos without audio. So maybe they're just scrolling, they wanna keep their audio down. So we want to be able to have the text there so they can actually watch your video and read it along the way. So first what we're gonna do is hit upload, select files from your computer and add the video, whichever video you want from your computer and then click open. And th what this will do will start the upload process. Now with, while this one's uploading, I'm gonna come back to Temi and go ahead and create an account and get started with them. Once you have your account, select audio or video file. And this is going to be the same thing. You want to upload it from your computer, just like we did from YouTube and hit open. So this is going to take some time to figure out how long it is before they charge you. It's actually really cost effective uh, software. So then I come back to YouTube and this is where I'm going to start naming it. This is one of the most important parts because this title is actually what your potential customers or what you, um, people are going to be looking for when they come to YouTube. So like if you wanted to say how to change a doorknob, right? That's what you're going to type in, how to change a doorknob. And if your video answers that question and that's the title, that's where you're going to show up. So how to build a website. We build websites. So how to build a website would be this video. And then you can add some other keywords in there. So maybe how to build a website for business owners. So now if anyone types in any of those keywords, this video will show up how to build a website for business owners. Then we want to give them a little bit of information here. These count as keywords also. So I always like to acknowledge in this video, the owner, so whoever the owner is, Brad Smith, shows you why it's important to have a website online. So then always add a call to action at the beginning. So what's the call to action? If you, if you would like, and now you want to talk about whatever you talked about in the video, you will want to have the call to action. If you'd like more information about websites, go here, boom, and then add the link to wherever you want them to go on your website. So first one, you want to tell them what the video is about, and then you want to give them a call to action. And then I always like to add a, couple, a little bit more content, like um, what you'll learn. So what will they learn if they watch this video? And then I always like to do checkpoints because people are busy. They want quick, easy. So um, why? All right, so something real simple, pilot. So while I'm doing this, I can come back to Temi, see where we're at. Um, it's still uploading. It's about halfway there. Um, once that's done, then we can go ahead and hit checkout and purchase that. So from there, uh, we want to give them a couple more examples. Um, how to get this in this video, I think about in the video, what you're teaching them, how to build better relationships with your website visitors. That's one thing we really focus on. Then another thing I taught in the video was, you know, why you need to have more than just the website. So how to use automation on your website to get 10x more customers. It's usually what we see if you do it right. And then I had another call to action. If you like the free 10x checklist, click here. So we have this really cool checklist, automation links, 10x customers. It shows you actually how we get 10x customers from websites. So if you guys want that, make sure you uh, let me know and I'll add that. So from there we have this. And then the last but not least is uploading the thumbnail. So usually what I do is take a relevant picture 
This takes some work. I usually hire someone right on Fiverr uh, for five bucks to make me a nice thumbnail. But if you look at YouTube, you'll see that thumbnails are one of the most important things. So uh, this is my, um, my mentor here. So you can see how he's got the title, how to close customers, how to close more customers is in his thumbnail. And then a picture of him. So that adds, you know, the relationship factor. So same thing for Gary Vaynerchuk, a picture of him. So you see the common theme here. It's a picture of you with the title or a good call to action on the thumbnail video. And then you go ahead and upload it here. From there, you're going to hit next and you need to go all the way through this. And you can always save it as unlisted until you get your um, SRT file, until you get your transcription. So we're going to go ahead and do unlisted and we're going to save it. So from there, um, I've already done this video. So you see that it's a two minute video and it's only going to cost me 50 cents. Perfect. So you're going to go ahead and hit checkout and then it takes about uh, two to five minutes for them to come up with with the transcription. When it's done, it's going to send you an email letting you know it's done and you can go ahead and view the transcript. What's cool about this is you can actually hit play and it'll go through your entire transcription and you can edit anywhere in here, whatever you need to edit before you download it. So you can actually review. I like to just go through. If it's orange, it means they are, they're not sure if they're right. So just go to all the orange parts first, uh, make sure that they're right, and then you can go from there. And then you're going to download, and you want to download as a caption and an SRT file. That SRT file is what you're going to export or add to YouTube. So I'm going to export. Now I've got that SRT file. You want to go back to YouTube. Now you're going to have your video here that's uploaded. Hit details. And then you're going to scroll down. You're going to see upload subtitles, CC. You're going to click on that. I don't like use You don't need to do timing. Continue. Go to your downloads folder. Upload your SRT. And then there you go. Now you have closed captioning on your videos. You can see that it's right here. So once you're done with that, you're going to want to publish it. So just change this to publish, public, done, hit save, and your video is going to be live with transcriptions. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it helped. Let me know if you need any help with your website or getting more customers online. Thanks again for watching.